Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to review the Orion X-T10 Dobsonian Telescope. Dobsonian telescopes are good for viewing deep space objects like nebula and galaxies. If uh, you want to look at planets, a refractor telescope made of lenses is much better than a uh, refractor telescope. The whole tube is made of steel, but the, the bottom, the base, is actually made of wood. This is a reflector telescope, so the mirror at the bottom has a, diam a diameter of 10 inches, hence the model name XT10. And you can see here the secondary mirror, which looks big, but in reality, the area obstruction is only 6%, which is very good, so you don't lose a lot of light. The telescope comes with a 2-inch focus assembly, so you will need the included 2-inch to 1.25-inch adapter for 1.25 eyepieces. And on mine, I upgraded the viewfinder. I put a right angle, and it's a 9 by 50 millimeters. Here is a view of the month, which is a Dobsonian. Uh, popularized by John Dobson, by the way, in 1965. So uh, it is an altazimuth mount, meaning that you only have two axes, uh, X and Y, so you go uh, horizontally or vertically. So the telescope moves vertically here on uh, two uh, frictionless pads that you have here on the, on the hub assembly on the sides, and it's very smooth. For horizontal movement, the telescope moves on a big bolt that you see here at the bottom. I recommend uh, a few uh, eyepieces for this telescope. One that is highly recommended is this Orion Deep U 35mm. It's a 2-inch eyepiece, which is simply amazing. The eye relief is also big, so if you wear glasses like I do, you will find it easy to be able to see the object uh, with this uh, eyepiece. So these are the eyepieces that I would recommend with a Dobsonian telescope of uh, this size. The um, focal length of the telescope is uh, 1200 millimeters. So the uh, eyepiece that you saw previously at uh, 35 millimeters gives us a magnification of 34x. So what I have also here is I purchased a uh, EPIC 25mm. I don't think these are available anymore from Orion, but you would have something equivalent. So 25mm gives us a magnification of 48x. I also bought a 14 to give me double the magnification, so 86. And I also have a 7.5 again to double, and that gives us 160x. So I use most often the 35 millimeters because I like the very wide field of view and the big eye relief because I wear glasses. I use the 25 often, I use the 14, but frankly the 7.5 I don't use very often. This is the adapter that you will need on the uh, focus assembly to go from a 2-inch eyepiece to these 1.25-inch uh, eyepieces. The website also says, uh, if you check on Orion, it says that the maximum magnification for the X-T10 is 300x. But in practice, you will never get to that. Maybe the most you will do is a 7.5, uh, because if you go higher with a Dobsonian mount and with the Earth rotation, you, it will be very difficult to uh, track the object. On the uh, Orion website, you can buy a hard case for your uh, lenses. But in my case, I preferred a um, soft case for many reasons. So I bought the TGI, they also make them for lenses and for camera equipment. So the TGI case is perfect to carry all of my eyepieces. Now let's talk about the transportation because that's important. If you live in the city, you'll want to move this telescope to the countryside when there is no 
no uh, light pollution. So the base here that you see made of wood weighs 25 pounds and there is a handle you can see in the front. So it's not easy to carry, like to carry this big thing uh, is not easy and it will not fit in uh, every trunk. The telescope itself, this big tube uh, made of steel, weighs 30 pounds. So it's not easy to carry. There is nothing like to grab and also the length is 48 inches. So if you want to carry this tube in a car, it may not fit on the back seat. So you have to be careful and measure. So ideally to carry this telescope of this size, you really want to drive an SUV or a minivan. So this is my review of the Orion X-T10 Dobsonian Telescope. I will put the list of my recommended accessories and eyepieces in the video description. So if you have any questions, put them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.